Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful fall leaf card that works great for any occasion. So let's get started! So for this card, we're going to need a piece of Cajun Craze cardstock. We're going to need two pieces of Early Espresso cardstock and two pieces of Very Vanilla cardstock. And I have all the dimensions and sizes down in the details uh, below. So go ahead and click below if you want to make this card along with me. So with the Cajun Craze, we're going to go ahead and fold that in half to make our card base. We'll use our bone folder to crease that edge nicely, make it stay for us. And we're going to set this aside for now. And then we're going to take the larger piece of our very vanilla cardstock. And we're going to take our Cajun Craze ink pad. And then I'm going to be using the Colorful Seasons stamp set today. And we're going to use these two pieces up here, the large, um, the large leaf and the outline. And first we're going to start with the outline piece. And we're going to use that on our D block. And I'm using the Cajun Craze. And what we're going to do, what we're going to do is this outside piece right here. So we're just going to do a bunch of random uh, leaf in different random shapes and stuff on there. So it'll make a nice background. And I kind of like to start in the middle and my, work my way out towards the edges. Okay, so this, we're going to sticky the back of it, and this is going to go on the large piece of our early espresso. And then that is going to go on the front of our card base. Okay, so we have that done so far. And all we have left to do is this front little piece. So we're going to set this aside for now. We're going to bring our paper towel back over. And for this one, we're going to be using quite a few different colors. We're going to use the crushed curry, the Cajun craze again, the cherry cobbler. And for the outline, we're going to use the early espresso. So we'll set these other ones aside for now. And we're just going to open the early espresso. And we still have the outline on our block, so we're going to go ahead and ink that up and stamp our image on here. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and clean this off and put it away really quick because we're going to need to use the same block. So now we're going to get this piece right here. And we can go ahead and put away our early espresso. And we're going to get out our other three colors. We have the crushed curry, Cajun craze, and our cherry cobbler. And I forgot to grab my sponge daubers for this. Let me grab them really quick. So we're only going to need the um, cherry cobbler. Where's my cherry cobbler? And the Cajun craze for this one. And so we're going to ink up in the yellow. We're going to take the Cajun craze and go around kind of the middle part of it. And then we're going to take the cherry cobbler and go around just the edges, the tip sides of it. Okay, and then we're going to stamp that right over the top of this one, which takes a second to line up. All right. 
there it is. All right, so we can put our ink away. Okay, so now we're just going to take this piece, get my snail, and we're going to stick it to our small piece of our early espresso. All right, and then we're going to sticky the back of that one. And then you can actually make sure it's going the right way. And you can actually put it on here whichever way you want it to go. And I actually want to do it this way. And then I kind of just position it kind of right in the middle. And there you go. That's it. Just like that. There you have your card. And with this one, I took the small leaf and on the inside I did all four corners and layered it also with the early espresso to do the inside. Since it's pretty dark, you know, it's hard to write in there. But you could leave it if you have uh, like a really dark marker that you're going to use or something to write. But I like to layer the insides of mine so you can do that as well. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that you will make one of these cards as well. If you do, please upload a picture of it in the comments. I would love to see it. Bye, guys. Thank you.